Hello YouTube. Um, so I'm back up the allotment again today. It's the Saturday, not Saturday. I'm not half asleep this morning. And um, it's Tuesday the 6th of October, day after my birthday. Um, and unfortunately, the cats are still deciding to use my raised bed as a litter tray. Um, I haven't been able to get to a garden centre yet to get some silent raw. I'm tempted to buy some on Amazon for next day delivery if I can. It's a bit more expensive, but at least it arrives tomorrow and hopefully that start happening that's where my white onions went in yesterday so i'm gonna take that out smooth it back over hopefully that they haven't unsettled or dug up any of my uh, actual uh, onions but we'll have to see okay so that's the cap who picked up and i am now in the greenhouse the plan for today is to silicone this back up uh, that needs to come out that needs to come out and the trellis needs to come out as right down the bottom there let me turn you guys around you see the water is coming in you can see where it's running down um i don't know if that's over the bottom of the plastic i've put in or it's underneath don't think it's underneath i think it's the bottom of the plastic so i'm gonna get i've got white silicone couldn't get clear silicone outdoor silicone and i'm gonna seal all the way along that edge there and then i'm gonna seal all the way along that edge on that side it doesn't seem to be on that side as much as it is on this side um but i'm going to do both sides just to be safe um but unfortunately that means that tomato plant needs to come out cucumber plant needs to come out and the trellis needs to come out i might even put a coat of paint on that trellis and put it back in but um i'll start getting it all moved out guys and i'll show you the progress okay so i'm in the greenhouse now um i put some cardboard down i don't know if you can actually see it Basically, it was so waterlogged in here, it's like stepping into like cement. So I didn't want to step into it and get stuck. Oh, that was my shed door swinging open by the sound of things. Um, but yeah, so I've got cardboard down, it's going to stop me getting stuck or anything. I need to take this cucumber plant out. Probably just going to cut it all back and get rid of it now. Um, it's probably not going to grow much more now anyway, but I've got a few little cucumbers on there. One and two. I might take them off and take them home and have them with tea later. Um, and same with the tomato plants, I'm probably going to cut a lot of the trusses back, save all of the tomatoes, including the green ones. Um, I might make chutney, I'll have a look at the recipe, I've never made it before, but it's worth a try. Um, but as you can see, there's still quite a lot on there. Um, but hopefully they can still turn red if they're not on the vine. Um, if they can, let me know in the comments below, that'd be fantastic. But I'm going to start getting all this out um, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so that is the tomato plant taken out. As you can see, loads of tomatoes in there, green and red. Um, I don't know if I can make chutney out of these if they're too small or anything, but I can give it a go. Um, this can all come out of here as well. A lot of the compost, like spent compost, will go into my main compost over there. Try and get that overturned and everything so I've got decent compost next year. But I'm going to move on to getting this cucumber plant off. Um, I'm going to take these off. So I can eat them at home tonight for tea. Take that one, take that one. Um, there's no actual other cucumbers on it other than stuff like that, but that's not gonna grow now. So there's no point in me keeping that. So I'm just gonna strip all this back and then this is all gonna go in compost and then it'll be removing the trellis. Okay, so that is now the cucumber plant out as well. And um, I've got the two little ones there. I'll have to cut them open to see what they're like, but I can have them with tea later or something. Um, next thing is to get this trellis out. I'm probably just going to sniff it, put it down, and then try and get it out the door. But I've got to get rid of all this into the compost and everything first. So I'll do that, and then I'll show you when I'm taking this off. So just back in a second. Okay, so that's everything out now and into the compost. There's nothing actually on the walkway. It's just getting this uh, trellis off. Um, I only actually attached it with string, as you can probably see here, um, and here. Really, it should be attached with like garden wire or whatever it is you can get. It's less likely to erode over time and break. But it was a quick fix for now, so I'm going to take it off. I'm probably going to do it with string again um, when I put it back on. But I'm probably not going to put it back on today. <coughs> Excuse me, don't worry, not Corona. Um, I'm probably just going to take this off. I'm going to give this a lick of paint today. And then when it's dry tomorrow, I'll put it back on. Um, 
and then I'm going to start collecting manure to fill the bottom of this. I mean, I'm going to put fresh manure in here as I'm probably not going to be going anything in here now until next year. But if I put the fresh manure in, it will keep the temperature in here quite warm due to the chemical reaction of it breaking down. Um, so it means hopefully my Christmas carrots, Christmas potatoes and everything will pick back up. If they don't, they don't. It's a learning curve. I know for next year that I don't earth up all the way over the top of the potatoes and the carrots, when they start to show, I don't put any more compost on top until they're a bit more established. I think that's where I screwed up on the carrots. The potatoes, I cut, they, were, they were doing quite well. They were like, as you probably saw in some of the videos and photos on Instagram and other bits and pieces, they were doing quite nice. But unfortunately, I got a bit over enthusiastic and filled them to the top and then they just stopped growing. And also they were in the bottom of the greenhouse when it was waterlogged. So I don't know if they've been over watered um, and that's caused the problem as well. Oh, pinky finger. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take the rest of the string off of here. There we go. I think that is all of it. So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to have to put that blade down so I don't want to hurt myself. But we're going to get this up and out. So that's the trellis out of the way with. Um, as I said, I'm going to silicone all along the bottom. I'll take you off the tripod and I'll show you what I mean about uh, the problems down here. Um, it's literally, the water's running down. And I believe at the bottom it's not sealed properly. So that the water is just seeping in. When you get a heavy downfall, it just covers in it. And I want to try and avoid getting in here too wet. I want it to be completely sealed. Obviously a little bit of air because air to circulate. I've got this temporary window here. I'm going to open that. that I don't really use. Um, when the trellis is on this side, it's going to be very difficult to use unless I put the trellis on with this sticking through it and then hopefully that's not going to get in the way. I don't honestly know. I haven't looked into that. I have got an opener at the top as well, but I've got no handle or anything on it, but I'm looking in for a um, temperature controlled greenhouse opener. Uh, window opener. If there's any you could recommend, please put them in the links in the uh, comment section below for Amazon and everything else. I am in the UK, so UK or European stuff would be preferred. But if you can find something in America, let me know and I'll find the UK equivalent. So I'll take you off the stand, I'll get you in, I'll show you what I mean about the bottom, and then we'll start silicone it. Okay, so we're back inside the greenhouse now. As you can see, there's all water and everything here, but it's here. See, if I push gently, it moves. And I think in the water's coming down, and it's just trickling inside on these ones. Uh, it's like that all the way along. So I'm gonna put silicone along that edge on the inside. And I don't think it's coming in from any of the sides. And I don't think it's coming in from anywhere at the top. Um, that's all the gutter in, so it falls into the gutter in and runs along and drops off. I don't think it's anywhere there. I don't think it's anywhere along this side either. And I think there might be a bit on that side. So I'm just going to silicone this side first, because I think this is the one where I get most of the damp issues. Um, I don't know about here as well, if it's coming in from there, because if it is, I'll put a bit of silicone in there as well. Um, but it's mostly going to be along this edge to stop anything coming in along that one, that one and that one for now. Um, and then I'm going to wait for my next big downfall, come back. And hopefully it's not leaked. I haven't checked anywhere at the top. Um, as you can see, I've done some patchwork where some of the panels have shifted slightly um, and there might be a little hole. If it was a little hole just there, um, I can fill that with a bit of white silicone. Unfortunately, I couldn't get clear, but white would be fine. It's for outdoor use. Um, it's actually this one here uh, that I got from B&Q using the voucher that my parents gave me. So I'm gonna get that all sorted. Run the silicone along there and I'll show you guys when it's done.
Okay, so I've done the silicone, as you guys can see. Um, I've done it on both sides just to be safe. As you can see, I'm not the steadiest. I'm not a DIYer. I'm not a person who does a lot of work at home. But I'm hoping that along there, plus that little hole down the bottom there, is all filled up so that it should hopefully stop all of this sort of water seeping in. Um, if it continues, I'll have to come back up and get someone to put water onto the roof when I see where it's dripping in. But it's fine. I also filled that little gap up there. So hopefully that'll stop leaking from up there. So yeah, I'm hoping that that actually cures the, the water log issue I've got in here. Um, as I want to start filling it with manure and compost and everything ready for next year to grow in. Um, the reason I did the greenhouse like this is so that I can actually use the soil. Instead of always having to use pots and get new compost and compost, I can get a decent amount of soil in here and then improve it every year with manure and additives and stuff like that. So that's in here done for now. I'm going to set up the um, trellis somewhere and I'm going to start painting it. Um, and get a lick of paint on it. I want it the same colour as um, my trellis. The trellis. Same colour as my um, stand in here and the raised beds. Um, I really like it. It's called Co it's from Cupronol. It's called Silver Copes or Corpse or whatever one you want to call it. Um, but it's a real nice colour. It's dark, so it attracts a bit of the heat as well. It helps keep the beds warm and attracts some heat into the greenhouse when it's a bit colder. Um, so fingers crossed it all works. So I'm just going to start painting that trellis. I'll show you guys the process and when it's done. Okay, guys, so I'm in the shed. Um, slight change. I'm not going to be able to paint the trellis as I don't have a paintbrush. Um, I usually have a spare one up here, but I don't. So I'm going to have to get some more paintbrushes. Um, pop to being cure home bargains or something. Like that. I don't need an expensive paintbrush just because it's painting stuff at the allotment. But I need a paintbrush at least to be able to paint because I'm not just dripping it on or chucking it on. Um, so what I might do is I might just leave it there for today, guys. It's only a short video. But I want to take you guys along for the ride the whole way. If there's anything you can think of that I could have done better or I should have done instead of doing the silicone, I can come back and take it back off and redo something else. Let me know in the comment section below. I um, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys again next time.